Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what we're talking about in this video are some updates for the Apple TV. Now, when Apple updated the Apple TV very recently, they did a couple of things. They updated the photo app to allow for new stuff for like the iCloud library as well as what they call active photos. They added a dictation so that you can tell Siri what you want you know, to write in a form and change things around instead of using the little, I call it the number line, but you know, it's the A to Z, 1 through 10, 1 through 9 line that you used for the on-screen keyboard. And the biggest one, really, is making folders so that you can organize your screen. Now, what we're going to show you is that. The first thing you want to make sure you do, though, is make sure you have the latest Apple TV software. So you go into Settings. You go to System. And you go to where it says Software Updates. Select the Software Updates and tell it to update the software. It might have already updated it for you, depending on when you're watching this video, but just want to be on the safe side, go ahead and go to update software, okay? We've already done that, so we don't have to. Now, once your system resets, and just to let you know, you want to make sure that you give your system plenty of time to do this. You want to make sure that there's not a strong chance that anything's going to happen during the process. You don't want anything to turn off. So if it's, you know, a thunderstorm or something that could affect the power, do not do your update then. It could break the system. Once you're done with your update, go back to settings and go into general. And from general, you scroll down and after the update, you're going to have a new menu here for dictation. Make sure that dictation is turned on. And go back to the home screen. Now, from here, it works just like it does on something like an iPad. You take, you know, two apps that you, you know, two or more apps that you want to put into a folder and just select one. So let's say you want to take Pandora and put it in the same folder as my tuner here. You see the system will automatically call it music because it you know, figures that this is a music folder. All right, so we've got a music folder. Now let's say you want one for TV shows. Select Hulu by holding down the pad. Put it together with FX here. Now you'll notice this one, it calls it entertainment. Now, if you do another one, let's say you do Netflix and Crackle, you notice what it's called. It's entertainment again. So that could get confusing, right? I mean, this is entertainment, that's entertainment. So here's where dictation really comes into play. Like you select the folder. And go to where you see the keyboard. You, you know, you, you just click up, basically, on the little touchpad. Now, you select Siri. TV shows. And you see, now the folder's called TV shows. And let's say you call the, you know, let's say you want to call this movies. Click up, select Siri, on-demand movies, <laughs> on-demand movies, and now it's on-demand movies, see? So now you got the on-demand movies, you got music, you got TV shows, and of course you can do this with anything. 
and say you want to do sports. See if this, oh, that actually gets it right, so that's sports. And of course, you want to get your news. News is very blue. Now, of course, you can put more than two things in a folder. That was just, you know, something I was showing you for the sake of it. But okay, so let's get, you know, all these little news channels in there. Boom, 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 boom. So that calls it news. And let's see. We'll do like some. Uh, Clips. So you got your YouTube and put it together with Vimeo. Daily Motion. Alright. So I don't think that this would really be photography, do you? Let's call this short form. Alright, boom. Okay, so you're seeing how this works. You know, once you have your folders, you can put them together. You can put them where you want them so that, you know, you get things organized. Now all our folders are right here. Let's see if we can just get them all in the same row. <laughs> They're fighting me. Okay, well, I'm not going to lose sleep over that right now. So, but you see how folders work. And once you've got things set up, I mean, you can, of course, I mean, you don't have to even name them based on things like that. Like, let's say you just want to make something for your kids. Let's say you want to put this together with PBS Kids and call this Kids Folder. Kids folder. As you see, there's a little bit of trial and error. I'm sure it'll get better over time as it learns your voice. But after you have your folder set up, here's something cool. You're, you can not only set up folders, but you can easily move things to different places. Like, let's say you think of Hulu more as a movie app. You can sit, you know, you select the app, you hold that button down. And press the play pause button and it's going to bring up options they see it now recognizes all the folders so if you decide that you want you know to move a folder move something to a different folder you can say okay let's move this to where is it movies boom see now on-demand movies has Hulu in it if you decide that you don't need a folder after all, go into the folder, you select the apps, and you can either like drag it out, and that will kill the folder, or you can go into the folder and again select the app by holding down the select button, press play, pause, and you can just move it to the home screen. And as you empty a folder out and move everything to the home screen, the folder is just going to go away. See? So, what you've got here is a way to get things much, much, much more organized. Uh, they announced that Apple TV already has 5,000 apps. So... Obviously, you're not going to put 5,000 apps on your screen, but if you have 45, 60, it's going to start to get pretty big. This is something that has been needed on a TV device since Roku had more than 10, really. You know, they never had a folder option. Fire TV doesn't have a folder option. But kudos for Apple TV for finally integrating this kind of feature. That's how it works. I hope this video was helpful. If you thought so, please subscribe. 
We've broken over 5,000 subscriptions in the last couple of weeks, and I want this to keep on going. Let's see how fast we can get it to 6,000. I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.